Welcome in Tamers. Today we have some more content coming to you from the new year. Some more Digimon locals. We've got Chris who's playing Bugs, Hercules Kabutarimon up against TJ. Notorious for playing Secon over in his locals, jumping down to London for the week. So, we're going to see, of course, one of the Kabuteris get played, but just get done in by Schwartz straight away. Passing over 7 memory is quite tough against Secon. Because although they want to try and keep the memory low, they're still going to be able to play out so much. Like we can see Akari and a Mimi down already, kind of two key pieces. But we're just going to see a Wyvern's Breath to kill off the body once again on the side of Chris. No, I was going to say no rookie, but there's a Terriamon hiding. Terriamon coming down. Not going to be able to reduce play costs or anything now. I do believe that is, unless it's the, the game memory on. I forget which one Terriamon is, I'll be honest. It's just going to be a continual pass over and over again. Mimi coming down. And then, of course, Magna Andra for four. Going to pass over turn, though. Recovering all the way to six security. Mimi on deck. So we can promote if we ever reach a level five. We're going to needle spray and suspend the Magna Andra. Of course, an option card was used, so memory lost on the side of Chris, and then we are just going to burn off... Bounce to hand the Magnet. What, was it Bounce to hand? Yeah, it was Bounce to hand Magnet Andrew. Of course, Overflow activating, but the Magnet Andrew that does recover is coming down, as we can see. Seven memory used. Recovered up to seven. Seven, seven, sevens all round. What's the play going to be? I think we're just going to need to start going up in the back. We can't, unfortunately, because we, again, don't see any rookies. We're going to get a free swing, and it's going to die to the promo Hercules Her 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 Kabutari. Hercules bug. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, because we're going to just instantly swap out and recover once again. Up to eight already in the security. Unfortunately, Chris not, not got a giant hand size, but we are going to see a Lamort come down. No piercing, unfortunately, because once again, getting dropped straight away. Way too many insecurity, so this is going to kill off the Lamort, unfortunately. Passing turn across. What's the play? I think I honestly think we are just going to have to... Yeah, there we go. Start building in the back. I think that's the best thing you've got with the training as well. Love to see it. We're going to take the memory boost. Are we going to use that memory boost straight away? That's the question. We are going to use the memory boost and get searching for that level 4. We see the bug there once again, not the Tento of course, but the level 4 bug into hand. And we're just going to get the double checked, both Magna Angers. I'm going to promote out and go all in I think here. So we are set to 3 on the side of Chris, very nice, memory boost to 5. Essentially a free evo into the Kuaga bog. But there's too many bugs at this point. I don't know what does what. Ha Lamort has piercing now. No, it doesn't have piercing because it doesn't have Angora in sources. Apologies. But then what's the play here? We've used the training to go into it. We're going to swing and kill it off. That technically shouldn't have got piercing, I do believe, because it doesn't have Angora. No, it does gain piercing, and then it's if it's Angora, it suspends one. I know cards. I'm getting there slowly. Overflow coming down. We see two Death X in hand. This man, the cheek of it. However, Lahonkala Donkle, however you say that card's name, is just going to bin off the card. Bin off the Hercules Kabuteri. We're going to play the Tanto, check the top card. We have a blocker on board now, okay. Price pack's being handed out by Ethan from Darksphere. Thank you very much for that. And we're just going to drop again and pass turn. We do, we do have the the the, the blocking Kabuteri one. We get it. Death X just coming down, dear Jesus, binning off everything. Just got to confirm what Death X does. It does too much, is the answer. And I unfortunately think that is going to be that is going to be game. Although you have, yeah, that is game. Although you have way too many, but. Not much else you can do against the Death X, unfortunately, unless you drop a level 4 and a level 2, a uh, level 3 even, one of which needed to be blocker. 
on to game two. Here we go, game two. Oh, we got the judge promo going on on the side of Chris, but for Setcon from TJ. I don't think I've actually said his name in this game, but you know, TJ coming down. We just see the Mimi pass two. Tento gonna, of course, reveal not a green Digimon, unfortunately. But then Kara, of course, we're just running the purple side here by the looks of. Nice. Tapping the Mimi in order to gain another memory because because a uh, an option card was played. That was green memory boost. Magna Anja coming down straight away. The recovery begins now. TJ said, let's build this stack. I don't need this card. Lotmon, Lotmon? That's not Lotmon. That's the other one. Terriamon coming down for three. What are we going to do? Are we potentially stuck? We're, we're going to drop for seven. I saw another Tento in hand. I feel like we should have just played the Tento. But again, this isn't me. These players are playing this out right now. Holy Wave are going to recover yet another one and choke to one, unfortunately. Hmm. Crack the memory boost. Play for... Ooh, Digivolve for four, sorry. Of course. Not going to be able to use that Digiburst on the Hercules. But it does have piercing nonetheless. So that's that is actually pretty fortunate when you think about it. Oh, we're going to swing with the Hercules, get the piercing check, and the ESS effect does nothing by the looks of. Or gives sec plus one, it gives sec plus one, I guess. <laughs> Two checks piercing. I don't know anymore. I should have read up on this card. I should have asked for the deck profile, but I didn't. Reacting to this blind is fun. Did you want Emperor coming down? And then Flame Hell Scythe, going to bin off the Lopmon and recover one. Very nice. Emperor coming down because you played a Digimon, draw a card. Understandable. We're just going to play another Tento. <laughs> Unfortunately, searching the green memory boost this time. Oh no, it burns one, doesn't it? That's why when you destroy another Digimon, it burns one. That's that's what it is. Both Tentomons going in the bin. Love to see it. And just an open pass as well. What is the play? Into Venusmon. Of course, Hercules losing a security check means that they can't attack it. Means that no when did your effects go off on stacks. They are going to promote out. Did you want Emperor should proc? Yes. So it looks like we might have to keep it in the back here. You want Emperor does activate because you're raising a level 3, so really all you need to do is raise level 4, but okay. Looks like we're okay and we're just going to pass it across. Venus is going to swing at security, hit nothing. Of course, Venusmon now is able to be targeted. Hercules does have security attack minus. They are 12k each though, so it would be a crash if that happens. They are going to crash indeed. Not a bad, not a bad, not a bad, uh, not a bad crash in my opinion. We're going to see a Tentamon come down. Of course, going to reveal the top and actually add it to hand this time. <clears throat> Magnet Andrew coming straight back. Recovering one. This kickback from the security control player, TJ. Not really much, but then again, not really much green can do here. He does have the automatic jamming but that doesn't help against option cards he no longer has jamming but that's not a problem because we're gonna eight hpd i mean we're gonna claim that memory because an option was used into hercules once again we're gonna digi burst one and two to suspend the magnet andrew and swing through it i do believe we're gonna check one burn one or burn one check one even and then hitting the Chaos Deck, losing the big stack once again, but it did his job. He did, of course, burn one, and then check one, and then board wipe once again. It is unfortunate. The Stingmon looking like it's going to come down in the back for one. Part of me wants to say, yep, good choice, in my opinion. And to Blossom, I mean, we're not getting the Digizorb. Or we could go into the long. Or we, or we could play the Yoshino. We, I, th I feel like playing the Yoshino here. Saving for Lamort next turn. Yep. 
Yep. Return of Digi Egg, very nice. Yeah. I, I definitely feel like potentially saving for the Lamort next turn, where you could possibly swing through the Magna Andra Ace. Ooh, big option. I don't know what it does. I'm guessing it does nothing. <laughs> okay. Now this is a problem. This one. This one's the problem. DP minus and D Digivolve. That's harsh. That is harsh. Shadow Seraphi. Very difficult to play around, especially in security control these days. Because you want to swing to get rid of things, but you can't because it just D Digivolves you. I mean, unless you're confident enough that you can swing through and still get things, we'd keep, we're keep we're going to keep searching by the looks of. But nothing's going to happen on Chris's side, unfortunately. One check once again. Hmm. I feel I feel like it is just an unfortunate dead end road here for Chris. I mean, you can suspend the Tento going to Blossom. But then you don't have your level six. Okay, okay, we have the Weedmon as well, we can cycle one more piece if we need to. Ooh, we're going to go into the Blocker instead. I feel like it was either, yeah, Lamort wouldn't have been strong enough either way. Because you don't have Angora and Sources, I mean, it would only suspend something anyway. There is a Memory Tamer now on field, so I feel like going into Weedmon in the back would be a good idea to cycle one more piece. Yep, okay, we're thinking the same wavelengths here. You can blossom, but that means you're suspending your blocker or you're suspending your own body. Lamort could work. You can't really needle spray this, unfortunately. But we do have a blocker on field, so we are protected from the Salomon in the back. Okay, reduced by one. Doesn't matter though, unfortunately. That was a very good play, but the Kari has been played. Shadow Seraphi. We're going to get the block so we prevent the chip. I like it. I do like it. I do like it indeed. Lahonkal or Donkal is going to just kill off the stack. But that's fine because Chris has the Weedmon in the back on for memory. This isn't that bad when you think about it. It's just how are we going to get big numbers to swing through it. And I'm going to assume that we didn't quite draw the level 6, unfortunately. That is a shame, because that, that would have been really good to be able to swing through. Lamort's going to be able to do one check. Oh, we do have the level 6! Yo, I've been baited! But, I mean, it is it is unfortunate, because that's going to happen. And then that is game, of course. Salomon in the back, always the perpetrator, always the one that's going to win you the games. Great decks though, honestly. I can't wait to see bugs get a lot better in the next few sets. But as of right now, this is the match, and I will catch you guys in the next one.